It's been arranged for me to meet with the man who can explain why the Eritreans attacked that Ethiopian aid convoy two years ago and enraged Bob Geldof. The man's Asias Afforki, the General Secretary of the EPLF. What was the impact of the attack on the, the food convoys in late uh, 1987? What interest would we see in attacking a convoy coming through Masawa, arriving at Asmara, and food being distributed to our population in that area? Of course, it's been uh, dramatized, and sensational stories about that event were uh, there, and it was uh, easily manipulated by those who wanted to use the EPLF as, an, as, a, as a scapegoat for their uh, 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 implicit uh, support of the government using food aid as a political weapon, of the government using food aid and relief convoys as a cover-up for its military movements, mm -hmm. uh, convoys used to cover uh, and transport ammunition and weapons for the government. And do you say that the Ethiopians are still using food convoys as cover for shipments of armaments? Now, of course, after uh, two years, it's become evident to everyone, and anyone can see that for himself, by going and seeing all these relief uh, trucks with their logos being used by the military. Has the fact that you're holding three Russian prisoners had any effect on the behavior of the Russians? I don't think it has uh, affected uh, the Russian attitude because uh, people might now talk about perestroika, glasnost changes in, inside the Soviet Union, but uh, I think the Soviet Union clearly knows what it has been doing in the past 10 years. They have. Uh, continue to supply the regime with weapons. In fact, they have introduced new uh, weapons in, in the war.